I'm in the middle of working on an array city. I'm going to show you how I'm doing this. So quick review that arrays are useful in math. And so they would have equal rows and columns like this or like this. This would not be equal rows and columns. If I move this one up here, now I have equal rows and columns. All right, so I'm going to show you from start. I would use a black piece of paper. And the first thing I did was take an oil pastel. You could also use a crayon and just add a little cloud coverage to the night sky just to make it more interesting. So I'm going to be thinking about the art term variety as I'm working on this. Variety is the opposite of sameness. I don't want everything to be the same. I want to try to make it interesting. So add a little interest to the sky. And then I chose four different colors for my buildings. But I don't want them to all be the same height and just the same flatness across the top. I want to make it a little more interesting. So I took my scissors and I did something different to the top of each one also made them different heights. So you may want to decide that first. You cut this down and then do something with the top of it. So this is going to make for a more interesting composition. I'm going to let the gray one be my tallest. This one is a curve. You can cut any design you want into this. You are the architect and artist. So an architect is someone who designs buildings. So they, that involves art and math. Because the art makes it look good, the form, and the math makes it stand and be stable and strong and function. So call that function. Okay, so let's see on my last one here. I think I want to kind of come down about right here. I'm gonna cut it short first, and then I think I'm gonna do a little zigzag. Okay, so now I have my buildings with variety. They all are different colors, and they're different heights, and they have something different on the top. I'm gonna glue these down. So you need to remember a dot is a lot. I know that my glue is open because there's a space here when it's closed. There's no space and there's white poking out. It's not glue, it's the plastic that keeps the line to let the glue out clear. All right, so open it up, turn it upside down, be patient. I don't even need to squeeze. If I wait long enough, it'll start to drip out. But if I do want to squeeze, I'm going to use my pinchers and do gentle pinches. We need to remember that a dot is a lot and we do not need a lot of dots, just a few good spacing in between. So right there, that's an appropriate amount of glue. I'm going to flip it over, line it up with the bottom, and press for a minute. I'm going to do that to all of my buildings. A dot is a lot. Don't get the dots too close to the edge where the glue will ooze out. So I'm going to attach all of those. Then the next thing is to add windows. This is the array part, the math part. So you're going to choose from these bright colored thin strips and cut them into little squares or rectangles and place them in equal rows and columns so that you can then create a multiplication fact out of what you've laid down. So here, my multiplication fact would be 2 times 2 equals 4. And I know that because I have 2 across and I have 2 up and down. So 2 times 2 equals 4. If I keep going, my next one would be 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 across, 3 down. Now if I move this here, that's not going to work because I, I have four in this column, but only two in this column. So we've got to keep it equal. So you can decide how many 
windows you want. And once you've done that, you'll glue them down. So again, a dot is a lot and you can just put a dot right on the window and it should stick to your glue and then you can use your pinchers and flip it over. Dot, pinchers, flip. The other option would be to count your windows, know your rows and columns, move them out of the way and add the dots and then place the windows. After placing your windows, you're going to write your math fact down at the bottom. So it's a blank one. I would glue this here and write two times three equals six and glue that right there. So you'll do that for all of your buildings. And then your very last step, come back over to this one. If you have time is you can add some stars in the sky. So I did these by, I have these fat piece of bright yellow paper, I'm gonna draw a star or multiple stars. And again, variety is good. Make some big, make some small, and you'll then cut them out. It's always easier when you have tiny detailed cuts if you remove what you're cutting from the big piece of paper and then cut it. And for this, it might be easiest to cut in all the way around, getting the lines to connect. You don't have to cut right on your lines. You can make it a little bit bigger because you're not going to see the pencil marks because afterwards you're going to flip this over and glue it with, of course, a dot. So you could put the dot right on the paper or on the star and flip over the pencil because you don't want to see the pencil. You just want to see the nice bright yellow. So that is it for making an array city.